Hi everyone, in this lecture I am going to take the second part in classification of carbohydrate. So if you want to watch its previous part, that is the part 1 where I have dealt with the monosaccharides. So the link of that is given in description box below. So in this part, I am going to deal with the chemical structure of disaccharides. So what is disaccharides? These are the structures or the molecule that contains the two unit of monosaccharide. So whenever the chemical breakdown happens or the enzyme work upon these disaccharide, it get hydrolyzed and divided and give the two molecule of monosaccharide sugar unit. So it can be either the same monosaccharide or can be the different monosaccharide. So what is hydrolysis? It means on chemical reaction, the water molecule uh, get bind with these sugar element and further break the bond between the disaccharide and gives the two monosaccharide sugar in it. So in this lecture, I am going to deal with the very common example of disaccharide and we will see their chemical structure as well. So the disaccharides are maltose, lactose and sucrose. Maltose, lactose and sucrose. So first we will deal with the maltose. So this is the sugar molecule that is formed by two unit of glucose unit. So two glucose unit with the alpha orientation. So thereby the two glucose molecules are bind together by alpha 1,4 glycosidic bond. So uh, there are the two sugar molecule that is the glucose and the orientation of both glucose have alpha. So here I will draw the chemical structure of 2 glucose unit uh, with the alpha orientation and the bond is created at the carbon 1 and carbon 4. So we have already discussed in the previous class that is the glucose is present in a, a 6 member ring and that is called pyranose ring. So here I am drawing the pyranose ring of glucose. So this is the carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So at carbon 1, the orientation of hydroxyl group is below. So this is how it is said to be a alpha glucose. And then hydrogen, hydroxyl, hydroxyl, hydrogen, hydrogen and hydroxyl. And the hydrogen group. So this is the alpha glucose. So for the disaccharide, I will draw the another molecule of glucose with the alpha orientation with the pyranose ring. So again at the carbon 1, the orientation of hydroxyl group is below because it is alpha glucose and carbon 2, hydrogen come inside, then hydroxyl and then hydrogen and hydroxyl, hydrogen and CH2OH at carbon 6. So this is the alpha glucose and the bond is created between the carbon 1 and carbon 4. So here, here is the carbon 1 and here is the carbon 4 of alpha glucose. So at carbon 1 and carbon 4, both hydroxyl group will interact and the hydrogen molecule will be released from this reaction and the bond is created at carbon 1 and 4 and this bond is called alpha 1,4 glycosidic bond. So this is the chemical structure of maltose and it is present in many vegetables and in grains. 
so when the starch and the glycogen molecule get break down it get hydrolyzed then it will give many molecules of disaccharide so it is the maltose now next we'll see the lactose so this is the sugar in it which is basically present in the milk and it is made up of two sugar molecule one is galactose and one is glucose and both have beta orientation so the bond is between beta 1,4 of galactose and glucose molecule so again here I will draw the chemical structure of galactose and then glucose so the pyranose ring of galactose is very much similar to the glucose so firstly I am drawing the beta orientation so at carbon 1 as the beta orientation is there the hydroxyl group will come up then rest of the structure is quite similar to the glucose molecule but at carbon 4 the hydroxyl group will come up so this is the pyranose ring of galactose that is beta galactose so here you can see that at carbon 1 the hydroxyl group is coming up so this is how it is said to be a beta galactose so in this pyranose ring of galactose the structure is very much similar to the glucose unit but except at carbon 4 that is second third and fourth at fourth carbon the hydroxyl group group is coming up in comparison to the glucose molecule so this is the uh, difference between glucose and galactose okay so this is how the glucose and galactose are epimer to each other at carbon 4 now beta glucose so again I am drawing the pyranose ring that is the six member ring containing five carbon and one oxygen and carbon one the orientation of hydroxyl group will come up because this is the beta orientation but here at carbon four the hydrogen will come up So the bond is between the carbon 1 of galactose and the carbon 4 of glucose. So here is the carbon 4. So at this the water molecule will release and the bond will be formed at 1 4 link. So here the bond is between carbon 1 and 4 at beta orientation. So this is the structure of lactose that is on hydrolysis when the water molecule will again bind to the structure then this bond will break down and gives two molecule of monosaccharide one is beta galactose and one is beta glucose. Now the third example is sucrose. So sucrose is the another disaccharide and it is very rich in cane sugar, sugar beet and in many fruits as well as in some vegetable, in honey as well. So this is the very sweet unit and uh, it is mainly uh, composed of two different type of monosaccharide that is one is the uh, alpha glucose and the another monosaccharide is beta fructose. And the link is created between alpha beta 1 to glycosidic that is the carbon 1 of the carbon 1 of glucose alpha glucose and the carbon second of beta fructose uh, will create a bond and that forms the sucrose. So here the bond is alpha beta 1 to glycosidic link. So firstly I am drawing the alpha glucose with the pyranose ring the six member ring 
so at carbon 1 with alpha orientation the hydroxyl group will come down then so this is the pyranose ring of glucose so this is the alpha alpha glucose because the orientation of hydroxyl is below and this is the carbon 1. The next another structure is fructose that create link between this. So here I am drawing the uh, 5 member ring furanose. So mostly the fructose present in furanose ring that is 5 member ring 4 with the carbon and 1 with the oxygen and on carbon second the hydroxyl group will come up because this is the beta orientation so this is the carbon second here is the first carbon so on second carbon the hydroxyl group will come up then H2OH and H so these are the six carbons so on carbon here the link is between carbon 1 of alpha glucose and carbon 2 of beta fructose. So both hydroxyl group will react then hydrogen molecule will be removed from this reaction and the bond is created at alpha beta 1 to glycosidic. So this is the structure of sucrose. That is the link between alpha glucose and beta fructose between first and second carbon. So here we have seen the very important example of disaccharide with their chemical structure that is maltose, lactose and the sucrose. Thank you.